Hi guys, and welcome back. So this is just a quick video, just an update um, on the last couple of trips I've had out. Um, I was quite fortunate on one of the permissions to find some Henry III hammered coins. So these Henry III hammered coins I found on the last couple of trips I had out on one of my local permissions. Um, I've been in contact with my local flow, which is my local finds liaison officer. And if you don't know who yours is, you can find it on the NCMD uh, website. So these four were found pretty close together uh, within a metre of proximity of each other, a couple of metres within each other. And after speaking to my local flow, they have confirmed and saying that these will be classed as a scattered hoard and a treasure item. The reason they class it as a scattered hoard is because they all were found within a distance that was just far enough apart to uh, class them as they would have been lost together at one stage, either dropped out of a purse or buried to keep them safe from, you know, other people. And they cast it as a scattered hoard because, well, they were lost 800 years ago, you know, in the mid, uh, the mid 12th centuries. Um, so there's so much happened in the fields ever since. There's been cattle running through and out. There's been sheep, cows grazing, tractors up and down, combines, all sorts of farm machinery going through these fields, which would cause them to spread out over time. And uh, yeah, because these four were found close together, the flows asked if I could uh, send them in through the treasure process. So I have to bag them, tag them, uh, what three word locations of where I found them. And yeah, I hand them in and they will record them as a treasure item, which would be really, really, really cool. If you haven't seen the videos, check them out below. But yeah, for me, I'll keep you updated. See you later.